East London Food Access has been operating in East London for the past six years. The project, run mainly by volunteers, is helping to promote healthy lifestyles and give local people in some of London's most deprived areas access to fresh fruit and vegetables. The idea is around health and well-being through food and we're a social enterprise in the UK uh, so our priority client group if you like who we aim to serve are the, the disadvantaged sectors of the community so those who for reason of mobility or age or disability can't really access fresh fruit and vegetables. Our product is health and well-being through food. The fruit and vegetables are bought at the local Spitterfields market and taken to sites like this one on the Nightingale estate. Local people, many of whom are elderly, disabled or disadvantaged, can buy fresh produce at prices lower than supermarkets. This provides a number of benefits including a sustainable business and a sense of community. So we're trying to provide a kind of a hub for the local community here because supermarkets, although they may sell um, food cheap, do not really provide much of a community service. And sustainability and local food miles and climate change is also high on our agenda. So we're attempting as far as possible to promote local seasonal produce and delivering locally using sort of pedestrian or um, bicycles to make that final leg of the transport more sustainable. For the operations manager for this site, the stall provides a focal point for the community on this estate. It's very attractive for the local people and uh, f mainly for elderly people who, as you can see, is a quite big estate and for them, even the little distance, it's still a distance. And it's a, some spirit on our work, what we are doing. It's people come just to talk to us, to see us, to have a cup of tea. Those who come each week so this is a much needed local service. It's very close to the neighbour and two, it's very cheap and they are sending very good uh, stores here. It's very important, especially for the old people. You know what I mean? They need to get the shopping upstairs and things like that, you know. It's not as dear as down the street as well, saying it's convenient, for, as I say, for the pensioners. A couple of minutes walking. Everybody is happy, I'm sure. With the G20 London Summit in April 2009, this type of social enterprise could be seen as a blueprint for what's possible in local communities globally. There's a, a strong argument that if we can look at local food provision, because this is an enterprise, it, it's no, there's no subsidy for the actual cost of the produce that we're selling. But if we take food, maybe recycling and community currency and money, such as Grameen Banking, these are all very effective self-help mechanisms that actually cost next to nothing and actually can serve the very sectors of society throughout the world that, that need that help the most. East London Food Access believe their model of promoting healthy living to deprived areas could be a sustainable way of delivering fresh food to local people throughout the world.